How you doing? Justin here, back with our Rhythm Licks series. This kind of little series inspired by Curtis Mayfield, Jimi Hendrix style stuff, where you mix in a little bit of kind of lead line into your rhythm guitar part. Uh, hopefully you've seen the previous video where I explained conceptually what was going on with the scales and stuff. So this lesson, I'm going to take you through one specific lick, which is a really, really nice one to get started on. It's quite simply this. <laughs> Okay, so that's the lick. We're starting off with a C bar chord, okay? It's a, a fifth string root, the A shape, if you're familiar with the caged chord system. Uh, first finger's going down in the third fret of the fifth string. Tip of that finger should mute the thicker string while it's there. And the third finger will go down, pressing down strings two, three, and four at the fifth fret and muting the thinner string. We generally don't want that note ringing out for this lick. So we're gonna play the bass note first of all on beat one and then a little chord there on beat two. One. Now, probably want to relax that chord grip immediately after playing the chord. One, two. Keep that chord nice and short and nice and crisp. Uh, then we move into the lick part. First finger is going to move up to the fifth fret, covering strings four and five. And you're going to play those. And third finger is going to hammer down in the seventh fret of the fifth string. Then we're going to play the fifth fret, the middle two strings. Now, first finger is going to move down just a little, but it doesn't it doesn't matter too much if it just if it just stays there. It's not going to sound bad or anything. But I always like to move the first finger just a little bit so that the note on the fifth string doesn't ring out. Although it doesn't matter if it does. So, you know, up to your ears what you like the sound of. I like the sound of where it doesn't ring out. Okay. So one, two, three. Okay, three E and would be the count at 16th notes, three E and. Then on beat four, we've got this, we're gonna play the middle two strings again at the fifth fret. Now third finger is gonna hammer down on the uh, seventh fret of the fourth string. Hammer on, flick off, and then you're gonna play seventh fret of the, uh, seventh fret of the fifth string. I'll learn to count my strings at some point. One, two, three E and four triplet and one, two, three E and four triplet and four triplet. So we just got like a, it's a sixteenth note triplet. It's a lot easier to just hear the rhythm of this. So you just want, you want to make sure that you've got that as a triplet and that note's falling on the four and, okay? One, two, Three E and four triplet and one, two, three E and four triplet and. I recommend that you practice just being able to do that as a starting point because it's a really nice movement out of this common bar chord shape that many of you are playing already. So being able to go. And the extension of that is then trying to experiment with it. So trying to keep the first part the same. Lots of different places you can go with that, exploring just that one idea. And I really, again, I recommend getting some sort of drum groove to practice against so you've got something consistent. A metronome, if you have to, a metronome is just a, perhaps a little uninspiring compared to a nice uh, drum groove. But something like that you can practice along with and try to make sure that you get locked in. Because what you don't want is for this, for the rhythm to go wonky when you start playing the lead. You have this one, two. And it, 
you know, you've lost the groove completely. It's really important when you're doing this sort of stuff that you remain part of the rhythm groove, okay? That's really important. So you really want to be feeling this one, two, three, and four. want to be staying there solid with the rhythm especially you're doing all down strums it shouldn't be anything uh, you know that's really grieving you too much okay so i hope you enjoy checking out that lick it's a really really good starting point as i've said a few times now you know you want to not have too many of these licks at once okay try and Take one and really consolidate it and work it into your playing because it really, it doesn't work if you know lots in your head and you've practiced them but you haven't kind of put them into use. You want to work them into the things that you already know. So pick a tune that you know, that you feel confident with, that you're doing the rhythm of and see if, how many different ways you can get this lick in. And I know it's a bit thinky that way and it's, you've got to go through that process where you think about it and work it in until it becomes natural, okay? It's not just gonna naturally come out in your playing if you practice it a couple of times. It's not how it works. So you wanna practice it up, get it fluent, get it feeling good under your fingers, and then try and work it into your playing so that it will have a chance of coming out naturally. Because if you've practiced it, you know, I, I learned these things and it took a while before it actually, before they naturally started just working it out into the plane. You know, I had to consciously work on them, practice it, think about it, and then eventually it was like, like, oh yeah, I'd just kind of hear in my musical mind that this lick would fit and that my fingers would know how to do it. So, But you, that does, doesn't just happen automatically. You've got to work things in to, to get it to that point. That's At least that's how I see all of this stuff anyway. So once you've got this lick worked into your playing, you probably want to go and check out the second lick in this series, which you best find over on the website. There'll be a link in the description. You get a tab and you get the little theory lesson on how all of this stuff works as well. If you're over on YouTube, please do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.